Hi, my name is Jessica Martinez and today I'm going to be talking about variables. There are all kinds of variables you can use. There are different names, different data types, and right now I'm going to show you how I see variables. So there, there are many ways in which you can represent variables, but personally I see variables as containers. And what helps me visualize this are Tupperware. You see I have a small well, a small Tupperware and a big Tupperware. And you're not going to store something that goes in a small Tupperware and a big Tupperware because you're wasting space. And you can't store something that goes here in here because it's something that's not going to fit. That's basically how it works with all kinds of containers. And that's the same thing. It works the same way here in C++. So we have different data types. We have doubles, floats, booleans, integers pairs or cars and strings and they have different purposes they store different values doubles and floats they store numbers that are not whole numbers so any kind of decimal like 2.0 well it would be better to if you're using 2.0 it would be better to store it in an integer which because it's just a whole number a 2 but for doubles and floats, you can store decimals that are like 2.7, 0 0.7, 3 0.2, something like that. On the other hand, as I mentioned before, integers are only used for whole numbers. You can go negative or positive, any kind of number that is a whole number goes in, the, in an integer variable. Booleans can only store two values, false or true. And this is stored as zeros and ones in the computer, but let's not get into that. Cares or cars or chars, however you want to call them, only store one character. So you can store one letter, one, just any kind of thing, maybe one exclamation mark or a question mark or A, B, any, just one character. As long as it's one character, you can store it there. And in strings, which are not really a primitive data type, but you use them really frequently, you can store sentences, a whole word, you can store phrases and everything in there because you can store any kind of character. And I'm going to show you an example of all these data types and variables used. So. I'm assuming that you all know about soccer or any kind of sport really. I'm going to use, let's say, an int, an integer, which is you use int. And let's say I want to store the shirt number of a player. So shirt num. And let's say to assign a value to it, you have to say equals and let's say four. A favorite number. So the way we the way we give values to variables, or how we declare variables, is we do we show the data type first, which is an int. Then we do the variable number, I mean the variable name, and then if you wanted to declare the variable, you would just say you would just do that. But since we want to initialize the variable, we're doing the equals and the for. And then when we end phrases in C++, we always have to finish with a semicolon. So let's keep on going. Let's say we want to store the name of the player. Let's say we're using a string uh, name or possibly last name because in jerseys you use last name. Let's say it equals, and when you're storing a string, you have to use um, quotation marks. Let's say, I don't know, Martinez. And we end the phrase with a semicolon. Uh, let's do a Boolean. And let's say, let's say this Boolean is to represent if they're playing or not. So, Let's say the name of the variable is in game. And we're, we're going to say, yeah, I'm playing, of course. So it's true. Of 
for sampling. Let's store, let's say we want to store the average of goals I make in a game because I'm pro. We're going to use a double. We could use a float too, but it's just, I, I always use doubles. So let's say double average. Let's say per game I score, let's say I played 10 games and I scored, what? 15? You could say 15 divided by 10. And that's going to give us uh, a decimal, which is what? Uh, three halves? Maybe 1.5? Something like that. What, what data type are we missing? We're missing characters, so charts. And let's say, let's say we want to give me a, a letter grade, how, how good of a player I am. Let's say car, grade. Let's say I deserve a, a, an A because I'm a, I'm a really good player. And whenever you're using characters or cars, you need to store them in this single, this single quote. And that's basically it. That's basically how you use variables and data types in order to um, store all of these. And let's see out something. Uh, see out is basically just outputting it into this screen. You're going to see it as I do it. So let's say I'm see outing, I don't know, the player. Whoops. The player. And now I'm doing last name. Um, I'm calling onto this variable and I'm gonna output it. I'm gonna be outputting it. So it should say the player and Martinez. Who has the number. And I'm gonna add here the shirt num. Oops shirt num let me add a space here just for when it's outputted so the player and then it should say Martinez who has the number then it should say 4 is no has an average of and then we're gonna put the average. And then we're gonna have, um, whoops. I put the dull quotation marks. Which allows her to have a grade of and I'm missing the quotation marks here and now I'm just going to be adding the grade and then I end with the same color so I should say the player Martinez me right here has the number four and has an average of one which allows her to have a grade of A. So let's see what's going on here. 15 divided by 10. Oh, okay. So since we are doing, since we don't have uh, a decimal in our average here, it automatically assigns it the value of uh, an integer. So let's say we can have, if I do 15.2, it should give me a decimal over here. I'm just going to be adding spaces here so that it looks more fluid. There you go. So the player Martinez, who has the number four, has an average of 1.52, which allows her to play, which allows her to have a grade of A. And I'm just going to see out the in game variable.
just so you guys can see that it'll see out the true. see out a one because in in C++ the way we see the way we see booleans is either a zero or a one so let me just what well, let me just show you uh, since if in game was false it should see out a zero right there so this is basically how variables and yeah, data types work. Uh, usually a ver when you're naming a variable, you want to be as specific as possible without making it too lengthy. So just like I did with shirt num, we, by looking at the variable, we know that it's going to be talking about the shirt number. Or in last name, we know that it's going to say my last name. And in average, we know since we're talking about soccer here, we know like the average goals or I should have said that. I should have said average goals. And for grade, it's basically self-explanatory. And that's the way variables should work. Thank you.